All right, guys, so this basically confirms Apple has now switched to a weekly release schedule for new beta. So iOS 26, developer beta 6, was just released by Apple. Now, public beta testers, the next beta, beta 3 for public beta testers, will most likely become available within the next 24 to 48 hours. I'll keep you guys posted with a follow-up video once that becomes available. But aside from iOS 26, developer beta 6, Apple also released the other betas for iPadOS, Mac OS, Home OS, TV OS, Vision OS, and of course, Watch OS, all beta 6 available as of today to registered developers. As I mentioned, public beta testers, you can anticipate this beta to be coming your way within the next 24 to 48 hours, and I'll keep you guys posted. Now, the download for this one was a little over 10 gigs on this iPhone 16 Pro Max, and as per usual, I like to compare the previous beta versus the current beta, so beta 5 on the left, Beta 6 here on the right, and we're going to take a look at some of the latest new features and changes within iOS 26 Developer Beta 6. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the new onboarding process. As you see right here, Apple has put together a new onboarding process explaining the new design, some of the new features and capabilities within iOS 26, as you can see right here. So once you install iOS 26, Beta 6, Apple shows you how to customize your device, how to use some of the new features, what is liquid glass, how to navigate liquid glass. So the new onboarding process, again, will become available as you go through the installation process for Beta 6. This is the onboarding process explaining everything that's new, basically, or at least some of the new features and capabilities within liquid glass, the brand new design. Keep in mind, this is an entirely new design for Apple. So Obviously, they want a new onboarding process explaining to some of the new users what's happening and what's new within Liquid Glass and the new design. As you can see right here, including the keyboard, once you click continue, it'll show you the welcome screen and you'll start using iOS 26. Now, when you first launch the Photos application on the latest beta, you get a brand new splash screen here going over some of the new features and capabilities within the Photos application from the new updated navigation system to customizing to exploring spatial scenes. Obviously, we'll continue to get more of these splash screens you may remember with the previous beta the splash screens for apple music and the notes application and again we'll continue to see more splash screens telling us exactly what's new within new applications for ios 26 now one thing that i didn't notice right away is that after installing beta 6 boy navigation is a lot smoother a lot faster and animations seem even faster within the latest beta. Honestly, it almost feels like the animations from iPadOS when you're launching applications and things like that, even the app switcher, it just feels very, very smooth and very polished for beta 6. I have to say, things are looking pretty good for this latest beta. Now, one thing I also noticed is on the lock screen, the actual clock has more liquid glass. So take a look here when we compare beta 5 to beta 6. You see there the clock on the lock screen for beta 6 has more of a liquid glass effect on it than the previous beta, as you can see right there. So again, a lot of refinements happening here. Now, something else I also noticed is within messages. So if you launch the messages application, if we go into this menu, we now have this new filter by unread. So you have this new option available here, which is not available in the previous beta. As you can see right there, side by side. So if we compare that side by side, you see there the new filter by unread messages right there within the latest beta. That's why I got the bubble for 22 unread messages after updating. Now, also one thing I also noticed is with this beta, Apple has removed the classic mode switching from the camera, but kept the actual features. So in the previous beta, you had the option to actually go to the liquid glass iOS 26 switching between modes inside of the camera. So let's go into the camera options here in beta five. And let's go into the camera options here in beta six. If I can just find the options here on my phone, there it is. If we scroll all the way to the bottom right here, we have the classic mode switching, which allows you to go to the classic mode or the liquid glass iOS 26 switching between modes in your camera. Well, now you just have the classic switching. It doesn't give you the option to go back to the new option that Apple had previously enabled, which was the new iOS 26 liquid glass, you know, switching elements and design elements that it did have. So now you just have the classic switching rather you want to or not. So I guess that's a good move. I think that's the right call here as well. I was confused myself when trying to switch between different modes in beta four and beta three inside the camera app. So just going with the classic switching for modes in the camera, I think it makes a lot of sense and no need to go to the liquid glass iOS 26 switching. I think it was sort of a mess. Now there is 
six new ringtones available within this latest beta so if we jump into the ringtones section so i'm going to be quiet here to play these new ringtones under ringtones and we go into the latest reflection right here so let's go under the default here let's go ahead and play the default So those are going to be the six new ringtones now available under the default options for iOS 26. So either way, guys, that about brings it into this video. I'll continue digging around the software to share with you guys any additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the beta for several days. The big story here is how fast and snappy the animations are and how polished the software feels already on this latest beta. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.